Well, turning to Democracy 2012 now, Election Day is just over a month away. A public school ID will get you into a voting booth. A private school ID will not. Beth Vaughn is here with that story now, Beth. Mark, starting this year, Kansas voters must bring an ID or proof of citizenship with them to the polls. And until yesterday, the assumption was that all school-issued IDs counted. Senior year is an exciting time at St. Thomas Aquinas High School. Graduation is around the corner, and for a handful of students, there's the chance to vote for the very first time. I'm old, but I remember, you know, back when I was 18, that was McGovern 72, so that was a long time ago, and I remember how excited we were to vote. School president Dr. Bill Ford knows his students are following the campaign closely, so he was disappointed by yesterday's decision on voter ID. Our feeling was that either school IDs were going to be valid or, or they weren't. The law that went into effect in January requires the IDs voters use be government issued. Secretary of State Chris Kobach decided yesterday private school IDs do not count. There's nothing on a Blue Valley North ID that's not on a St. Thomas Aquinas ID. You know, we have the date, we have our logo, we have the school year it's valid, and we have a picture. Ford says his school follows the same regulations as every public school in Kansas. Most of our kids are, have driver's licenses, you know, so, you know, so it's a matter, to me, it's a matter of principle. But as of yesterday, his students were left out of a system of convenience. Beth Vaughn, 41 Action News. Now, there are nine forms of identification that will be accepted at the polls next month. For the complete list, log on to the homepage of our website, KSHB.com. Photo ID requirements to vote are becoming more common. A Missouri lawmakers are voted on asking voters to approve a photo ID requirement, but a judge ruled the wording was insufficient, so the question will not appear on the November ballot.